It's here again. GDC is back for another year. That is, if you hadn't noticed all the Twitter pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge from the lucky devs who got to San Francisco early. The Game Developers Conference is one of the big events of the gaming calendar, and while it might not have the announcements of E3, it always has some exciting tech news and slews of indie games that have the potential of stealing all the hours from your life. But what's on the cards for 2018? Here's what to look out for this year. Well, that G in GDC does stand for game, and while there aren't any huge announcements expected to rock the conference, there are slows of exciting indies to get excited about. Microsoft is boasting adding a lofty 18 new titles to its Idea Xbox program, one of the highlights of which is the stop-motion style Harold Halibut, but that's just the tip of the independently developed iceberg. The indie mega booth has a stack of interesting games that have future addiction written all over them. One Finger Death Punch 2 is playable on the show floor with seriously intense brawling and only two buttons. Shape of the World looks eye-massagingly lovely with its surreal natural world that reacts to your presence. And A Case of Distrust has us seriously intrigued by its 1920s crime mystery within a stylized 2D world. It might just be a crime to miss. There's not enough room to feature them all, but other highlights from the rooms scarily packed with creativity are Riverbond, a beautifully charming build and smash em up, and the thoughtful and artistic Another Sight. This recreates the experiences of a young girl who has lost her vision, but builds her world mentally in paintings from descriptions by a cat. Yeah, it gives me felines too. Given its dangerous proximity to all the tech companies of the world, if there's anywhere that's a little more focused on the future, it's GDC. The latest Oculus Rift headsets have always reared their binocular-clad heads at the conference, and the HTC Vive has had updates revealed here too. But what's on the way for 2018? Things might have been a bit quiet on the VR front, but that doesn't mean Oculus and HTC have been sitting playing Fortnite. The Oculus Go headset, the PC-free VR setup, is on the way, but it probably won't be until May's F8 Facebook conference that we see it in all its glory. HTC, on the other hand, has taken GDC week to reveal a release date and price for the Vive Pro, the 4K upgraded version of the existing headset. If reality just isn't cutting it for you, the Vive Pro is $799 or £799 and comes in an ultra stylish blue. Okay, maybe we're just biased towards blue. It also has built-in headphones and is completely wireless, so there's no more feeling like a VR dog on your PC's leash. The release date is surprisingly soon too. You can pre-order now for shipping on April 5th. Then there's the small matter of Valve. Will Gabe and Co be revealing more about their intriguing Steam VR Knuckles controller that's been shipping out to devs? In short, uh, no, probably not. While we could definitely be doing with some more info on these finger and grip tracking controllers, not to mention the two full VR games that Valve apparently has in development, chances are that we're not going to get a reveal somewhere predictable like GDC. Patience is a virtue and all that, think Half-Life 3 flavoured thoughts. If you find going behind the pixelated scenes as fascinating as we do, you won't want to miss hunting down GDC's developer talks on YouTube. Previous GDCs have revealed the secrets behind games like Destiny, where it turns out that Bungie worked scarily long on the psychology at play. The user research on Destiny talk might have sounded like something you would hit snooze on, but it revealed all kinds of interesting trivia. Inventory systems were tested with eye tracking, and up to three years before release, Destiny guinea pigs were giving feedback on how they felt to be in each environment. Also, you know, I don't mean actual guinea pigs, right? Before I get into any trouble with PETA, the highlights of this year's GDC talks include a discussion on the development of the visuals of Fortnite with Epic Games art director Peter Ellis. Maybe there is actually addictive visual e-numbers in Battle Royale mode. Surely that's the only way to explain it. The talks on offer also include a breakdown of the asymmetrical go reaction of last year's Friday the 13th. Game director David Langoliers will be explaining how they balance their camp counsellor victims with weapons like flare guns to combat a brutal psychopath with supernatural vision and a rage mode that lets them walk through doors in a completely new way. Plus, if what remains of Edith Finch broke your heart, you can find out how it all came from 13 different prototypes in a talk from Giant Sparrow creative director Ian Dallas. GDC isn't quite the same as E3 with conferences from each big publisher, but there's still news to be had from some big names. Epic Games will be taking over on Wednesday the 21st with a state of Unreal discussion, and then a full day of programming sessions to show off the updates to the engine. It might not be headline news, but given the games that use Unreal Engine, here's where the clues will lie to what comes next. If Fortnite right now is using Unreal Engine 4, what will the next iteration look like? The answers will be here.
It's important to remember that GDC isn't a consumer show. It's a great way to find out more about the dev scene and a place for new tech to spill out into the world, but this is an industry conference at heart. The good news is that we've only got three months until E3, and as we all know, that's where the big guns will be coming out. Individual shows from Microsoft, Ubisoft, Bethesda and EA will all be revealing new lineups and updates. Ubisoft will be especially interesting given that they will have a blank slate before Christmas. A new Assassin's Creed this year doesn't look very likely after an announcement of a franchise stealthing into 2019. We'll also presumably be getting to see plenty more Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is coming out in September. Throw in the potential of the Vive Pro, and there also might just be some exciting VR announcements to come too. One thing is very clear, GDC is only the beginning of the gaming fun to be had this year. So that's everything you should look out for at GDC. Have you seen anything exciting so far? Let us know in the comments below. Plus, if you liked this week's video, drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Logitech G.